Hello and good morning. I am Jay Potter. This is the ECHL business vlog. In today's news, the ECHL is releasing their full schedule in June. The, the Kansas City Mavericks and the Jacksonville Icemen we uh released their home schedule. And for the my local hockey team, they did not do anything yet. I am waiting for their home schedule so I can know who we play at home. Because n number one, I wanna see teams like Jacksonville. I want to see Allen. I want to see, let me think here, Jacksonville, Allen, uh, Kansas City, and some other teams that I never saw before. Like, to me, I don't mind Worcester, Manchester, but I'm getting tired of Manchester though. I want to see somebody fresh, somebody new, like Jacksonville. Because I have, which I said, like, I know players from different teams, such as Ken Appleby, Chris Newberry, uh, Tyler Brown, uh, Derek Maddles, from different teams. Because I'm not allowed to say this person's name, but um, he went down to Allen. No, to Orlando, excuse me, and Allen came into town, and one of the players, which I said, uh, Derek Mathers, who played for the Adirondack Phantoms, said to this person, hey, where is your uncle? This person said that I was home. He, because Derek Mathers was talking about me. Because he, so that's what I'm saying. Like for Ken Apple, for Ken Appleby, he knows me. Chris Newberry knows me. That's why if we play against Jacksonville at home, I could see Ken Appleby again and Chris Newberry, so I can talk to them and see how they are. That's why I want to see new teams. Like, like for Worcester, um, I, I know one guy there. Mitch Gillum. Um, personally, because I got, I got introduced to him um, be, before by someone. Um, but the whole point is for the schedule, everything comes out in June. Um... I will, I will, I will provide you with some information today into the description. Um, now it's time to talk about um some other news that I'm, I'm I could have, but I don't know if I have any. Um, like to me. Here's the other reason why that I hang out with players. All my life I did. And put, let's put it that way. Even the Adirondack Red Wings. I'm not allowed to say this part. But there's a player, a former player named Derek Mayer. He knows me. Personally, I've been talking to him. Um, he's in Germany right now. Um, uh, he has been to my former um, house. I'm not going to say where and why he was there. That's not important. But he used to give me a hockey stick, jersey, hockey cards... 
I only had Stuart McGunas that came over. All it, and me, my cousin, and somebody else took me to O'Toole's and I and I hung out with them with 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 the team. I talked to them, had a snack or something, bonus, like bonus wings. That's what you guys don't get. Because then the Phantoms came, came into, well, no. Then we had the Ice Ox. Most other players knew me. Um, I can name you one player from the, from the Ice Ox. Frank, Frank Littlejohn. He is in his, in his 40s. And he knows me personally. When that team came into town, they had this party thing going on in Queen's Park. And I was talking to the most of the players, and then I see him coming, and I went down and met him and stuff like that. You know. But he, but he still plays. That's who we need for the Thunder. It's Frank Littlejohn. He's like like forty three, like like my age, and he still plays. Um, because he knows how to actually score goals. Um, also, uh, then the Phantoms came. I didn't really like, hang out much with them though. Um, I think like, like I would go down and talk to them and stuff. Um. Because one of the players got a concussion because this guy fought somebody on the ice. He fell backwards and hit his head hard. Um, his name is Mark Andre Mark Andre Bourdon, and I was at a team practice with some with someone, and he comes in like over here, and I'm standing over here so I don't have to be in their way. So he comes in, and some one of the other one of their trainers um, come, gives him a jersey. He can't play because of his his concussion. He turns to me and goes, "Hey kid, you want my jersey?" I'm I'm like, okay. Uh, my friend said, "Go for it, go for it." I I go. And then he walks over to me and I go, thank you very much, can I get your autograph? Got my, he signed the jersey for me, I'll show that off in a different video. Um, and uh, um, then I got my picture taken with him, it, it was fun though, I mean, it was, I mean, I can't believe a real actual, a real actual Hockey player can't play, and then he gives me his jersey. That's awesome. Um, and then I got I see Phantoms. Then we had the Flames. I I didn't I don't usually hang out with the Flames the with the Adirondack. Uh, Adirondack deck flames players, but uh, I, I only a, a couple of guys. Like we didn't go anywhere. It was like doing practice hours. You know, I was down talking. You know, stuff like that after after the games. Um, that's one incident though that I loved. Um, I was at a team practice. You know, and David Wolf, who was from Germany, he could not bring his. He can. He cannot bring his PlayStation 4 with him. So, you know what he did? He gave me his PS4. Um, I'm going to show you the, my gaming system that I got from him. Right there. That was his PS4 and he gave it to me.
then I want to get in touch with him and see what's going on in Germany, you know, stuff like that, you know. I mean, like, I mean, like, if they had won a game, I can't remember one game. It was against the CFU Scrunch. And I told a, uh, a couple of players to get ten, to get ten goals. Guess what happens? The final score was Edwin Deck Flames ten, the Syracuse Crunch zero. I was all over their goaltending. Um, there's a guy named named Alan Alan York who played for the played for the Crunch. He was the backup guy. Um, it's like goal after goal after goal, and and, and every. Fan in attendance were nuts, including me. Because I told them to get 10 goals, and they did. So. Because, uh, because I thought that there was a former team that moved here, and that team was called the Abbotsford Heat. Because I get press releases, um, right, and I was playing a, you know, so anyways, to, to change the subject, I was playing a video game uh, one night, and I get a phone call from someone telling me about a new team that's coming in, right, and, and I was so happy because I thought this was our, our Permanent team. They signed a three-year deal to be in to be in the 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 Glens Falls area. Three-year deal for the 2014 season. Next thing I know, I get news. And right, so the, the year after, I hear that the that the American Hockey League. Was well, gonna start up a a Pacific division. I guess and guess what happens? They pull a, they pull our team after after one year. They go out to out to uh, California. Why would you sign a three year deal to to begin with if you were gonna leave? the area of Glen Falls to go to, to California and no playoffs for their fans because everybody thought this was our permanent team. To me that's breaking the deal. You can't even you can't do that. Two, that's a breach of contract. And I was told that. I will continue that in a different video, but today the main subject was the ECHL schedule. And that's coming out in June, which I said. Um, but which I said, I take everything seriously. I get everything ready, so I will know who we play against, and I hope we play new teams. Favorite, like, share, and subscribe. And subscribe, excuse me, to me. And be and and turn on your post notifications so you guys can be informed with every news on the ECHL. And smash that like button over like make it easier. Let's make it let's see. Nineteen times for October nineteenth for the Thunder to play against Worcester. I am their number one fan of my time. Not to Worcester, to the Thunder. So, the upcoming season will be all Thunder, and we will, and we will win the Caddy Cup. This year was a major, major fail. So, I'll see you guys later. So, wolf out and be informed with every video. Peace.